Hey, what's going on hockey players? If you're stuck at home right now, I've got the perfect hockey workout for you coming up. We're gonna be doing an at-home follow-along style hockey conditioning workout taken right from our at-home follow-along program. So we're running a 50% off sale uh, for this program right now. So if you do enjoy this workout, you want more follow-along workouts like this, check out the link in the description below to get your 50% off discount. And I wanna let you know that this is an advanced workout, so it's gonna be pretty tough. You'll see I struggle quite a bit uh, during this workout. So if you can't get all the reps, don't worry, just work as hard as you can. And I wanna let you know that you should be doing a warm up before we get started. So you ready to go? Let's go. All right, and welcome to the Total Body Conditioning Hockey Follow Along Workout. In this workout, we're gonna be going through six exercises, all back to back to back to back with absolutely no rest. And then we're gonna take 90 seconds rest in between circuits. We're gonna repeat that three times before I run you through a 60 second finisher to burn everything out in the end. All right, you ready to go? Let's get right into it. First exercise is gonna be a deep squat and we're gonna do 15 reps here. Deep squat, always making sure that you're breaking parallel, keeping your posture the whole time, keeping the weight on the heels, running all the way through this thing. Keep the speed moving. This is a conditioning session. We want this to have that circuit style feel. Once we finish 15 reps, we're gonna go right into the stop and go push up. Stop and go, exactly as it sounds. Rest on the ground, push yourself up. You wanna to come to a complete stop on the ground before moving into your next rep. And we are doing 15 total reps here. Keep going, keep going, keep repping. Next exercise after this, you gotta get ready for it, is going to be the T-stand. With the T-stand, you're gonna do six reps per leg, focusing on only one leg per time. Now this is a difficult exercise. Deep, breathe deeply through it, try and stay balanced. Don't be discouraged if you do not get the balance right away. This is a very difficult exercise for all levels of fitness, but it is an excellent exercise for hockey. We're gonna do six per side here. If you are having difficulty with this exercise, you can always return your foot back to position. You don't have to keep it up in the air the whole time or keep something nearby to balance you. Once you have completed the T-stands, the next exercise we're gonna roll right into with no rest is the scap push-up. Scap push-up's really just short for scapula push-up. You see you get into push-up position here. We're going to be doing 15 total reps and you're just moving your shoulder blades, which are your scapula, in and out the entire time for 15 total reps. Once you got those done, we're gonna move right into dive bombers. Dive bombers for 15 total reps. You're gonna get into a yoga downward dog pose and then follow all the way through in a position, like in a, in a follow through into um, a progressive type of movement using that momentum to get all the way into spinal extension at the end and then do your best to follow that pattern all the way back. So you're not just going it back into downward dog, you are following that loop pattern all the way back. 15 total reps here. This is an excellent exercise for the triceps, the chest, and the core. Once you've completed your 15 total reps, we're gonna go right into a reverse crunch with hip lift. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Right into reverse crunch with hip lift. Hands under the bum. You're gonna legs straight out, bring up and bring your bum and hips right up off the ground. This is the difference between a reverse crunch and a reverse crunch with hip lift. It adds just that extra progression to stimulate the abs more. You're only gonna do 10 total reps of this exercise. And this is the last exercise of your very first circuit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Finish strong here. Nice. Rest for 90 seconds.
All right, get back, start getting into it. Take your final deep breaths here. If you need a last quick, of wa quick drink of water, get it. Three, two, one. Right into deep squats, make it happen. 15 reps, all back to back to back. Always breaking parallel, always keeping your posture up, weight on the heels, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep your speed, keep it going, keep it going. 15 right in a row here before we move into the stop and go push up. Right to it, complete stop and up. Good, 15 reps of these. This teaches your body to go from an isometric contraction into a concentric contraction, which is what you see many times out in the ice when trying to defend yourself and stay strong on the puck in front of the net. This is an excellent exercise for that. 15 total reps. Keep her going, Kevin, keep her going. T-stands, right up into T-stands, sticks per leg. Hands straight up, lower yourself slowly into the movement to make your body become a T. Full extension at the shoulder, full extension at the hips. At the end of the movement, I should be able to place a coffee on your back. Okay, you wanna go for that straight back feel at the bottom of the movement. This means your shoulders need to be extended and your hips also really need to be extended at the back. One leg at a time, six right in a row. If you start getting real good at these, you start thinking you're fancy, don't put your foot down at the end and keep it up the entire time. Once you have completed the T-stands, you are going to go into your scat push-ups. Right down into scat push-up, let's go, 15 of these. Nothing in your body should move. Arms shouldn't be moving, butt shouldn't be moving. The only thing that is moving your body up and down is you just moving your shoulder blades back and forth. It's a shoulder blade pinch and release. Pinch and release. 15 times and you go right into dive bombers. Back to dive bombers, one of the hardest exercises in this entire circuit, okay? The dive bombers, they're gonna light up your chest, they're gonna light up your shoulder, they're gonna light up your arms, your core is gonna be working the whole time, and it also requires a tremendous amount of conditioning because you're looking at the whole body moving through a very long and very dramatic range of motion. Very tough, keep going strong, keep going strong. Take breaths if you need to. Take more time if you need to. This is a very, very difficult exercise, but in order to get a phenomenal workout at home without equipment, I gotta pick the good ones for you. And I'm picking dive bombers for a reason because they're gonna smash you. So you can thank me later for that. 15 total reps here. Getting through it, getting through it, staying breathing. Once we are complete, those dive bombers, we are gonna move into the reverse crunch with hip lift. 10 reps of reverse crunches. Let's go, let's go right into position. Hands under the tailbone, legs straight out. Use the abs to bring your legs back in and lift the hip back up. Good. Four, keep going strong. Five, keep the pace, keep the pace. Six, seven, three more. Eight, nine, and 10, awesome job. Take 90 seconds, rest right now, deep breathing. Try and consciously lower your heart rate. Deep breath, relax. Get some water if you need to, lower that heart rate, and come prepared for the next round.
All right, we're about getting that time again. Get ready. In six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, deep squats. 15 in a row, let's go. This is your last circuit. Everything you got in this round, everything you got. Let's go. Keep pumping, keep pumping, let's go. Non-stop, non-stop. Right into stop and go push-ups. Keep her going, keep her going. Everything you got here. This is your last circuit of the day. Come on, let's go strong, let's go strong. Keep going, keep going. Once you've done 15 of these, right up into T-stands. Six per leg. Focus on contracting the core, contracting the hamstrings, contracting the glutes, and contracting the shoulders throughout this movement. We want that whole kinetic chain flowing seamlessly as you make your body into a T and maintain your balance. Good. Six down, six to go. And last one, we're good. Going right down into scap push-ups, scapula push-ups, pinching the shoulder blades together in push-up position and letting them go all the way forward 15 times. Scap push-ups, I want you to try and get the most range of motion possible out of your shoulder blades within this movement. Don't just pinch at the top, go for a very long one here. Take a couple of deep breaths because now we're gonna go right into dive bombers. Dive bombers, incredibly difficult exercise here. Going from all the way to the back to all the way to the front 15 times. You start that deep breathing right from the beginning. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stay strong throughout this movement. This is a super, super, super tough movement. There's a reason why it's in the total body conditioning system right now. It trains your entire body. So I want you to keep going strong until you've got 215 reps. If you need to take a moment, back down on your knees, relax and take deep breaths, that's totally fine because we're always after quality and not quantity. Take those deep breaths, keep going strong. The set doesn't need to be perfect but it needs to get done, okay? 15 total reps throughout this whole thing. Keep going, keep going, I know you got it in you. Once you've completed your 15, we're gonna go into reverse crunch with hip lift. Do this for 10 reps. Legs straight out, come on, let's go, let's go. This is your last round here. Run this out, run this out. Embrace that discomfort, that's where change is made. Let's go. 10 total reps, finish this off. Nice, 90 seconds rest, and then we are gonna move into our 60 second finisher technique that I know you're gonna love, 90 seconds.
We are gonna go through a 60 second finisher technique where you're gonna do single leg burpees on one leg, skater bounds, and then single leg burpees on the other leg. We're gonna do 20 seconds per movement and do that as fast as we can to finish strong and act like a burnout, okay? Let's get into it. All right, single leg burpees with that left foot. Make it happen. 20 seconds starts now. Stay on single leg the whole time. You don't do the jump at the top of the movement and you don't, um, you don't need to do a push up at the bottom of the movement either. You keep that one leg out and in, keep it going strong the whole time. Good, and let's switch into skater bounds. Back and forth, back and forth. Going for length, going for length. We don't need to do it constantly. We are going after just good rhythmic movement for 20 seconds. Two and one. Now single leg burpees with the right foot to finish off the entire workout. Let's go, get right into it. Keep making this thing happen. Come on, Kevin, let's go strong, let's go strong. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, that is a super tough conditioning workout. You're done now, all right, congratulations.